Welcome, I'm Josh with Bass Buzz. Playing with a drummer for the first time can be scary if you don't know what to do. But fear not, by the end of this video you'll have my most foolproof beginner blueprint for how to play bass with a drummer, so you'll be able to come up with better bass line ideas and groove with your drummer. Let's do it! Here's two versions of the same bass line with different rhythms. Which one sounds better with the drums? So which one felt better? You probably said the first one, right? And that's because I listened to the drums in a specific way to pick a bass rhythm that would make the music feel good. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but first you need a crash course on drum kit basics. Most pro musicians know the basic parts of the drum kit, even if they don't play drums. And in a minute, you will too. Here's a basic drum kit. Some kits have less pieces than this. Some have a lot more. Let's see what these things sound like. First up is the kick drum or bass drum. Very, very important. It's the foundation of the drum set in a lot of styles of music. And here's the snare drum, which sounds like this. And a lot of drum beats are all about the kick and snare. Next up is the hi-hat, which often keeps time through the bar with a more consistent rhythm. And if the drummer isn't playing the hi-hat, they're probably playing the ride cymbal to do the same job. And last we've got the toms. Hawaii Five O, you ever see that show? And the crash cymbals, which usually mark accents in the music. That's enough drum knowledge to get you through most conversations with other musicians without saying anything embarrassing. Hey, drum Josh. What's up? When we go to the chorus, could you go from the you know the metal things that squish together and go? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Could you switch to the bigger metal one that goes ting, ting, ting? Bass players. So how can we turn drum knowledge into a bass line blueprint? Well, let's check out three popular songs with great bass lines and see if you can hear what they all have in common. Sleep when you sleep. Where do your fingers go? When you sleep. What do your fingers know? When she touch me like a dude. One stone, color in life with more than one tone. So did you hear what they all had in common? They stick with the kick. The bass follows the kick drum rhythm exactly. Sticking with the kick is a foolproof way to have the bass and drums feel good together in a lot of situations. The kick drum is the lowest sounding part of the drum set, and the bass is the lowest sounding instrument in the band. So together, the bass and the kick form a low end foundation that the audience can actually feel hitting their bodies while they're listening to the higher frequencies of the vocals, the guitars, and the keyboards. And even in bass lines that don't 100% follow the kick drum rhythm, they're still strongly linked a lot of the time. So learning to listen to the kick consistently will make a huge difference for your playing, even when you're playing more independent bass rhythms. So let's flex your listening muscles, and I'll actually have you play along to some common kick patterns. We'll just play an open E string, and we'll just follow the kick drum rhythm exactly. Here's our first drum beat. See if you can hear the kick drum rhythm before I tell you what it is. Pretty simple, right? Uh -huh. string or you can just clap along if you don't have your bass. Uh, uh. 
Okay, here's a new rhythm. See if you can hear this one. Okay, here that's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four on the bass. One, two, three, and one, three, and. Easy start for a bass line. Okay, last one. See if you can hear this kick pattern. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, and three. Clap along or play along if you want to. Perfectly good bass line, depending on context. All right, we're gonna play a rock groove together that uses that last kick pattern so that you can stick with the kick in musical context with me right now. Oh, and um, Drum Josh wanted me to remind you to click subscribe and then click the bell so that you get notified when new lessons come out. Okay, here's the play along. Four clicks and we're off. Don't forget to listen to the drummer. If you're having any trouble keeping your rhythms tight, try listening more to the drums and less to yourself. Particularly the hi-hat is going It's giving you every single quarter note. And the kick drum is giving you uh, uh, uh. The rhythm we're playing, uh, uh, uh. So between the hi-hat and the kick, you're getting all the info you need to play along. The stick with the kick blueprint is an easy way to make bass lines that work, but it's not the only way. There's no one right way to play bass on any given song in relation to the kick or anything else. But if you're a beginner, you just need a starting point where you can feel confident and have some success. And sticking with the kick like this makes the music feel good, which makes people want to play with you, even if you're not the most advanced player. Please click like if you liked this video and subscribe for more lessons. And if you head over to BassBuzz.com, you can get even more in-depth beginner bass lessons. So if you're already playing with a drummer or in a band, what helps you groove with your drummer the most? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.